welcome to the video my friends today we're going to go over the location for the banished knight armor set the nagakiba katana it's a long boy and where to get your hands on a compound bow look at that bow man that's like a compound bow so let's get right into it first up the banished knight set which you'll get from the banished knight I was in Kaelid at the Cathedral of Dragon Communion, just buying the rest of the dragon spells from the little altar, and I heard a spawn sound, uh, turned around, and the Banished Knight was roaming the area around the cathedral, and I just backstabbed him a bunch of times. It took me roughly 30 minutes, 40 minutes to get the full set. I kept getting shields and his sword over and over again, but you will get his full armor set, uh, which will be altered. It'll be slightly different. It won't have the similar cape that he's wearing, the like ragged cape on his back, but you will get his sword, his shield, his headpiece, chest piece is gauntlets and boots uh, eventually once you grind him a bunch uh, but you can obviously sell all the extra uh, duplicates you get kill him then fast travel back to the grace point right there at the cathedral and he was literally right 15 feet in front of me from spawning and i just sneak up backstab respawn backstab etc until you get the whole set and that's it and it's a pretty cool set it's got decent stats actually pretty comparable to radan's set um, but slightly lighter, I believe. Right, next up, we are going to go for the Naga Kiba Katana, which you can get off of an NPC, which you see early game at this location in Limgrave. He will be under this uh, kind of demolished bit of building with a campfire. Got the massive uh, kind of bell-shaped armor helmet on his head. I think he may be usable later in game he does move at this point in the game he was down the river of the lake just north of this location that he usually spawns early in the game and he can be found roaming the river i found him stood here on the river and he was telling me that he may see me again so i don't know if he'll be kind of met later in the game if you don't kill him but to get the nagakiba you do need to kill him this is his weapon of choice He's pretty easy at this level of the game, but you can kill him earlier on in the game if you want this katana to go with your samurai build that you've gone with so you can uh, dual wield, but it is a big boy. This is a long katana. It's got a big reach and a special LT attack as well that gives a nice animation and long reach. Really nice weapon art for this, this weapon. I've started leveling it up. It's not quite up to the standards of my twin blade at the moment, which I think I've got to plus 16. The Nagakiba, I've got to about plus nine, I think, and isn't quite doing the damage, so I'm not really feeling it at the moment. But I will put the Smith and Stones into the Nagakiba and keep pushing with it until it starts to meet where the Twin Blades are and see how I feel about it. Next up, we're going to take a look at the Compound Bow, or the Pulley Bow, as it's called in the game. I've not used any bows or the crossbow really in the game, so I'm not too sure on how well these can perform or, how, or if you can upgrade them even. Uh... Let me know in the comment section below. But I thought this was a pretty cool weapon uh, once I found it in the area of Mount Gelmir. It's a pretty linear path for the most part through Mount Gelmir up to the Volcano Manor. But it's pretty early on in that zone. You'll follow the path and you will eventually come across one of these towers. Up the top of this tower, there will be a body hanging off of the very tippy top. And on that body will be the pulley bow. I might put some points into this, get it upgraded if possibly I can, and give it a test as I, I do quite like the idea of this compound bow in the game and something I didn't expect to find. I thought it'd be cool to add to this video of a of another cool piece of loot to go out and find and try for yourselves if you were interested. As an extra bonus weapon, we're going to go and find the Bloodhound Claws found in the Volcano Manor basement, which is a quick slashing weapon but can be two-handed with one claw in each hand and looks kind of like a badass wolverine look and also does blood loss on attack similar to the bloodhound fang sword that you can get in an earlier boss encounter in limgrave once you've made your way through the mountain and to the volcano manor there will be a grace just inside you can talk to some npcs in here you will need to speak to this npc here to get the key for the door we need to enter so if we get the key and then head down this corridor here open this first door on the right and roll at the wall here i've already opened it this will open up and there's some snake snails down here and they can poison you so be careful wipe all those out and just ahead of us here will be a staircase we can go down and there will be a bloodhound boss mini boss which i have obviously already killed because i have the claws and his corpse is laid just there look at that his corpse is just there kicked his butt you can see he's got the claw himself in his hands the special ability for these claws the left trigger attack is a quick step oh look at that 
uses a smallish amount of FP, so you can quick step and dodge all over the place. And it's a fairly quick attack. And then you've got your heavy charge. Which is quite nice as well. So if you want to go all Wolverine on steroids on some bosses, this uh, this will be a good weapon as a bonus weapon. Doing 94 plus 36 physical plus the causes blood loss 60 on hit, which does, I think, build up as I have been using the Bloodhound Fang, uh, which LT brought to my attention that does the causes blood loss 55. I've got to plus six, which is a special weapon from the boss in Limgrave, and I've got it to 263 plus 207 physical plus the blood loss build up. And I also get some uh, grease on there as well, which just makes this weapon stupidly OP, even at this level. And if we carry on through the other side of the room with the Bloodhound in it, there should be another grace inside a chapel. This is as far as I've got to on the mountain. So if I find any more cool weapons that I think you should know about, I will let you know in a future video. Let me know in the comment section below if there's any weapons you've found that you think I should go and find if I haven't already and cover in a future video. Also, don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed the video and want to see more. Subscribe. It really means a lot. I love you all and I'll see you peeps next time.